What's up guys, Chuck Palmer here. There are few signs that will tell you your motor vehicle is misfiring. One is getting a check engine light that flashes like this. Another is hearing and feeling the engine running very well. You might even be able to see the engine shaking like this. A very shaky tailpipe is also a sign of the vehicle misfiring. You should also notice that the vehicle has a power loss, slow acceleration and the vehicle is not able to accelerate over certain speed. Let's now get into diagnosing and repairing this misfire issue. The first thing to do is to just go and check the electrical connectors to the ignition coils to see if they are all connected properly and no wire is broken. If they are good, we will need to scan the vehicle with an OBD2 scanner. If you do not have an OBD2 scanner at the moment, I will show you a way to test which cylinder is misfiring after I show you the codes using this scan tool. Here I'll be using a Bluetooth scanner with the Samsung tablet. I'll turn off the vehicle and connect the OBD2 scanner to the connector right here. You won't be able to see the connector from this position so I will just feel for it. The OBD2 scanner is in. I have already downloaded the application compatible with this OBD2 scanner and this device is already paired to the scanner. Now I will scan for the codes. I just need to turn the key twice without starting the vehicle. I will provide a link for this scanner and how to use it in a separate video. Now I will hit false codes. I just need to hit the search icon to start scanning. These are all the current codes. The first code is C1555 which is related to this OBD2 scanner itself. So I can ignore this for now. Code P0133 is related to the upstream oxygen sensor which will be addressed in another video. Code P0300 is indicating that there are multiple cylinder misfiring. Resolving the misfire issues will fix this P0300 code. Code P0302 is for a misfire in cylinder 2. And code P0303 is for misfire in cylinder 3. Just note that if you have switched your ignition coils around, you might trigger fault code for different cylinders if the coil is bad. That's what happened in my case because I switched them around at one point. There could also be issue with the spark plugs and I will show you how to rule those out later. P0352 indicates there is an issue with cylinder 2 which normally comes from a faulty coil. Code P2422 is related to the EVAP system which will be addressed in a later video. Code P2A00 has to do with a problem with the upstream oxygen sensor. That's it for the codes. Let's now go and actually do a manual test for these cylinders. To find the cylinder that is misfiring without using a scan tool, remove all four 10mm nuts holding the ignition coils in place for all cylinders. Cylinder 1, 2, three and four. While the engine is running, pull each ignition coil off the spark plugs. Note that instead of removing the coil, you could disconnect the electrical connector to the coil instead. Let's continue. If you hear the engine start to run worse, to the point where it might turn off, that ignition coil and spark plug is working. If after removing the ignition coil, you notice no change, the engine is running the same. That's a bad cylinder and it could be the ignition coil or the spark plug. So this is a bad cylinder. Notice that when I remove the ignition coil, the engine is running the same. Notice you hear no change in sound or work. That shouldn't happen when the ignition coil and spark plug are working. Let's test the other cylinders. Notice the change here. The engine was trying to stop. There is also a change in cylinder 4. So these two are good. Cylinder 1 is good as well. So we have found where the problem is. It's this cylinder. Now let's confirm if the ignition coil is bad or it's the spark plug. To do this, switch the ignition coil from the bad cylinder with one of the coil from the good cylinder. I will choose these. Now there is no change when I remove this coil, which means this coil is bad because this cylinder was good when this ignition coil was here. So this ignition coil is definitely bad. Note that it's almost never the spark plugs. Now I need to replace this ignition coil. 
These ignition coils in the vehicle are aftermarket, so I will be replacing all four instead of this bad one. You can get four of these used at a junkyard or buy new ones like I did. I bought new genuine ignition coils and I will put links in the description below. Installation is the easy part. Turn off the vehicle and pull out each ignition coil then insert the new ones. Install all four nuts and torque to six foot pounds. It might also be a good idea to replace the spark plugs, but I will do so another time. Let's start the engine. I immediately noticed that the engine is running smoother. Now the engine has great acceleration. Notice that the engine is not shaking anymore. Also look at the tailpipe. No more shaking as well. I will now clear the fault codes and go for a ride. I had excellent acceleration and power. And the check engine light is back. Let's now do another scan. If the same codes return, the problem was not resolved. Now I only have two codes. This is P2422 code for a problem in the EVAP system. And this is code P2A00 for a problem at the upstream oxygen sensor. I will fix those later so look out for those videos. So there is no more misfiring for this vehicle. The problem is resolved. Thanks for watching. But before you go, please like this video and subscribe if you have not yet done so. See you on the next one guys.